the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he would send the crowds away. After sending the crowds away, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there, alone, while the boat, by now far out on the lake, was battling with a heavy sea, for there was a headwind. In the fourth watch of the night, he went towards them, walking on the lake. And when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But at once Jesus called out to them, saying, Courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. It was Peter who answered, Lord, he said, If it is you, Tell me to come to you across the water. Come, said Jesus. Then Peter got out of the boat and started walking towards Jesus across the water. But as soon as he felt the force of the wind, he took fright and began to sink. Lord, save me, he cried. Jesus put out his hands at once and held him. Man of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And as they got into the boat, the wind dropped. The men in the boat bowed down before him and said, truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. To get into that gospel, don't forget what is before. Before, it's the multiplication of the loaves of bread. And so, there is a big crowd. It's important to see that because in 24 hours, just consider the experience that Jesus wants his disciples to have. In fact, if you take that into account, there are three moments. The first one, it's this big crowd. And Jesus is going to give to nourish this crowd. He welcomes the crowd. Beautiful. Of course, we can do the parallel with the word you day. It was so impressive, you know. Young people from all over the world. This world which, uh, where you have wars, where you have so different conditions of lives, different ideas. You know it very well when you see a, a sportive event. Each one is for his team. And there they are united. They are united by Jesus. By the way, it's what is beautiful when we sing uh, like we did the De Angelis Mass. We use two very old languages that unite all the church. The Greek for the Kyrie, not Christus, it's Kyrie. And then the Latin for the Gloria. And if I may say so, as a student, I spent a year in the United States, far from my country, which is France, as you know. And to go to a mass where there was Latin for the Kyriale, which is those main prayers. Well, 
I needed it. <laughs> was feeling a little homesick. And it's the universal language of the church. So anyway, there is this great moment with all the people that are there, with uh, Jesus giving food, with the joy of it. You see, they, they are full of joy, full of enthusiasm. Oh, the life of Jesus, it's so great. And Jesus goes away. And he is alone. In solitude. And the apostles are without Jesus. They don't seem to care very much. Well, they are fishermen. They know what the sea is, the lake. And suddenly there's a storm. You know, if you have got this experience to sailing experience, I just once. But suddenly you can have a change in the weather very quick, very fast. You know that in England, of course you do. And that's what is happening. And then you have Jesus coming on the water. You can imagine Peter. He's frightened. He's frightened because there is the storm. He's frightened because Jesus like this, walking on the sea, it's so supernatural what's happening is he mad what's happening to him and he asks jesus he wants to be sure it's jesus and it's not uh, you know something in his mind so if if it's you fantastic the question if it is you if you are jesus then ask me to come to you walking on the sea and that's an experience that peter is going to do very important experience why because precisely he doubts he sees that faith which is given to him but he needs to cooperate i think that's a big lesson for us it's not enough to receive faith we must cooperate we must believe and that's a human act and at that moment peter sings and he asks the help of jesus he prays as probably he has never prayed as much as that because he's dying almost jesus save me and jesus do save him but after in the boat he says man of little faith it's all of us brothers and sisters in the time you know it's okay uh, going to mass today on sunday it's all right but in our lives there are moments where it's not that easy where we know that our faith is not enough because it's too hard it's too difficult it's something we don't understand. Why me? Why my family? Why are we living that? And then we call to Jesus. And Jesus always gives his grace at the moment we need it. Not before, not after, just at the moment we need it. And Jesus wanted Peter to have this experience. Because it's through that experience that his faith is going to flourish. That he will be able to follow Jesus, not at the cross, but at least on the way of the cross. And then, so that's fantastic, you know, the gospel says it. And then everything was normal. The men in the boat bowed down before him and there is no more the wind everything is casual so this gospel i think must show us two things the importance of solitude in our lives moments where we are 
alone with Jesus in prayer, in adoration. We are a very, very noisy time because we've got messages all the time on our phone because uh, there is all the noise of the city of London because we are called all the time and we think we must answer at once. We need times to be in solitude with silence to hear this little breeze that the first reading tells us about to feel the presence of God to ask ourselves if our light is our life according to what Jesus wants that's so important and then to have our faith to grow and it will do so brothers and sisters in times where it's more hard when it's more difficult it's we are tested in those moments but there is a fruit to it which is that we are going to be more and more confident in Jesus because he is always with us even if we don't feel him he is our savior the savior of the word Amen.